Ooh, beautiful day here out in Oklahoma. Got a treat for y'all today. <clears throat> We're gonna see what it looks like to lay a bunch of recycled crushed concrete. Let's get this machine started up. Got rained out the other day. Come on. That's good enough. Stupid door. Let's let that warm up a bit. <clears throat> Let's see, that's right about a little over 50 tons. All right, well, see how well this comes out. I haven't, I haven't done this with the roller yet. I'm sure it'll be fine. So this stuff makes a pretty good base. This is actually some pretty good looking crushed concrete. It's got a lot of rock in it. <clears throat> so you lay this down, roll it in. And then if you ever want to build on top of it, whether it's concrete, asphalt, or whatever, it's a nice stable base. It's got a lot of the lime, or I don't know what's, what is in concrete, but I know it's got some limestone, the, the rock, you know, basically a, a clean rock, and then whatever all the powdery stuff is. But pros, it's cheaper. Uh, some of the drawbacks some, some uh, it can be a little more dusty But since this is a short driveway I Don't think it's going to be that big of a problem and if they ever want to do concrete or asphalt on top It's a good base. So that being said, let's get to it Okay, so something to consider anytime you're laying down gravel all my water is gonna come here and cut across this gravel driveway so I don't really want to build it up too high it could potentially back the water up and when it hits it it could just you know erode it a little faster so what I'm actually gonna do I'll take that bucket I'm gonna cut in just a little bit and offset. I'm gonna cut in a few inches so when that water comes across, that gravel's not sticking up so high. It's actually uh, recessed a few inches so, so the water will roll over the top a little easier. Now until they get this paved, if they choose to pave it, you know, it's gonna erode no matter what, but this will help potentially uh, slow it down so let's get this cut in
man that bucket is awesome all right so i got this valleyed out ready for the gravel i don't know if you can see this but there's about a four inch so the water's gonna run on here and there's about a four inch drop from here to there so <clears throat> probably see that a little better so that so my water is gonna it's gonna be running right through here okay so by the time I get everything rolled in and compact down I'll be able to get this gravel worked in but I spread this valley out over about 20 feet so it doesn't feel like you're hitting a dip so as you're coming in you know like if you're pulling a trailer it'll dip down you don't want the tongue of the trailer or anything to, to drag or dip down. So it's gonna be a nice smooth transition. And I've got all this water that's gonna run across it and you'll have to repair it over time until you get it paved. So let's get the rest of this gravel spread, get this all rolled in and do the touch up so I can go home. Well, done with installing all this concrete, this crushed concrete. Got it rolled out nicely. It gets real smooth and flat. It's got a lot of the powdery stuff in it. See where it's still drying out. But I like to roll it in, get pretty close to a house. Not too close, because I don't want to damage it or vibrate the whole house to the ground. But it came out pretty good. That roller really, really works it in, so. I guess everybody's coming home, so time to load up, head on home. Thanks for watching.